Yo YouTube, how you guys doing? Welcome on in. So today's video, we're going to be focusing on a passive slowdown build where basically everything we have on our build is based around like passively slowing down the game. But I think primarily I want to be showcasing two newer perks that maybe have been underrated. Those being Deadlock and No Way Out. These perks were recently added with two of the most recent DLCs, one of them being a Trickster perk and one of them being a Pinhead perk. And I think these are very, very strong. So this entire build is basically passive slowdown. Obviously, the pig has her her bear traps that are kind of passive slowdown crypt intervention and sloppy butcher are perks that you guys have probably seen a lot if you guys watch my videos these are two of my favorite perks that i run very often so i'm sure you're decently familiar with them uh, but these two perks are the new ones, man. These are actually perks that I've been kind of falling in love with lately. They're they're they're, they're very very good. Um, just to explain what they do real quick, Deadlock's a perk where basically when a gen gets completed, the gen with the second most amount of progress will get blocked for 30 seconds. And also you can see its aura. So this is actually really sick because it kicks the survivors off of whatever gen that they're currently doing and kind of like gives them 30 seconds to either like go do something else or just sit there with you know doing nothing. And on top of that, it kind of gives you information as a killer to let you know like like where you should be protecting or what you should be doing um so this is actually really good this this combines really well with pop goes the, with uh, pop goes the weasel but i'm not going to be running pop in this build because I, the whole thing's based around passive slowdown and pop is not really passive that's kind of like i would consider pop active slowdown like you actually have to go out of your way to kick gens to make that happen whereas this build is based around just chasing around and killing survivors and then the slowdown happening in the background um, but this is a really good perk. I I'm actually really, really happy with this perk, and I think this perk is hella underrated. I think it's very, very strong, and I'm excited to showcase it. Uh, no Way Out is also another perk. This perk's actually been seeing a lot more use, and I think people might be coming uh, to like the terms with how good it is. This perk basically gives you baseline 12 seconds, an additional 12 seconds for each individual survivor hooked. So if you hook each survivor at least once, you get up to 60 seconds of blocked exit gates whenever they try to do it. So basically, like like the countdown, like the 60 second countdown or however many stacks you have countdown doesn't even start until they try to open a gate. So sometimes you'll get scenarios with this perk where you'll have four stacks of, of, of no way out. And even after the last gen's done, no one tries to work on an exit gate for a good 30, 40 seconds. And then they try it and then they get hit with a 60 second block. Sometimes this perk will buy you like legitimately like two minutes in the end game. It is nuts. It is actually, a, it's almost like a whole gen. It's basically like a whole other gen. Unless the survivors activate it right away, it's almost guaranteed to be like an entire generator worth of time that you have to run around and kill people. It's actually really good. I think this perk is very, very top tier as far as slowdown goes. Um, and on top of that, we're also just running some good add-ons. Creative Gears just makes it take a little bit longer to take your bear traps off as well as, make, as, well, as well as makes me set them on faster. And uh, Jigsaw Sketch is interesting. Um... It basically gives you one more bear trap, and it says when a survivor with a bear trap is working on a generator, the generator's aura is revealed to you. And I was a little bit sketchy about running this with deadlock because this also shows you an aura, but I think the aura is different if it's blocked as the as compared to not being blocked. So I'm hoping I'll be able to tell that mid match, but there's a chance that this might mess me up. And if it does, then I guess we can laugh about it later. I'm also I'm also bringing partner streamers because I feel bad for running a, a build that's this this build kind of feels disgusting to run, and I feel a little bit bad. So you know I'm running partner streamers. That makes it okay, right? Right? I can run whatever shit I want as long as I run party streamers. I can be the most toxic piece of shit killer as long as I have party streamers, dude. I'm I'm a saint. I'm a literal saint. So let's queue up. Let's see what this build does. Uh, hopefully, I can give you guys a little bit of showcase for these perks. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good map, maybe? I think this is a good map for pig. I think. I think this is a good map for like reverse bear traps. Because sometimes you have to travel like really, really, really far to uh, get to where you got to go, basically. And I also think it's just really a good map for being a stealth killer. Although I think Pig is like the weakest as far as her stealth goes. Because like, look at how fucking slow I'm moving, dude. You move so slow while stealthing with Pig. But, but being a stealth killer in general on this map is pretty good. Because most of the gens are like inside rooms. So uh, you can kind of sneak around and, you know, catch them off guard. Although, all, wait, all the gens that are unblocked are on the bottom floor. Why am I even coming upstairs? I don't even need to be upstairs. That's actually kind of a weird coincidence. Every single unblocked gen is downstairs. Hey, man. Hi. So I also benefit a lot from just M1-ing people. I should have probably uncrouched and just M1-ed her, but I kind of... If I'm being real, she kind of scared me. I was not expecting to see anybody. I kind of got a little spooked. But, yeah, because of Sloppy Butcher, I actually benefit a lot with just M1-ing people and not, like, actually dashing them, so... I got, you got to make sure you do that. You got to. Oh, man. Here we go. I knew I should have kicked out. I was, I was, this is literally where I was going to go. I was going to come kick out this wall because I knew it was going to be a pain in the ass at some point. All right. Well, 
I said I didn't have water, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the down, you know? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So she won't have sloppy, but you know, pressure's pressure. I ain't gonna be mad. This will get us a no way out stack. This will also get a reverse bear trap one of the shits to take off. This is where the slowdown starts. Where the fuck are my hooks? Holy shit, I think this is the close. I thought, for, dude, how is there no hook in this whole hallway? That's crazy. That entire hallway has no hook. That's actually really surprising. Oh, hey, I was just coming in here to kick this door, but I guess I'll take this chase too. She threw that so late. I actually shouldn't have gotten that hit at all. She threw that so late, dude. I think she thought I wasn't going to swing through it or something. Like that. Bro, what the fuck? Are you okay? She's going to throw this one, though. She, she, she looked behind her. I can tell that time. She was looking behind her. She was scared. Oh, she had live. <gasps> oh, no. She's out of here, dude. She's peepo speeding. Not like this. All right, we're going to break off. I hear this gen being done. Fuck, they're not actually on it, though. No, they were just here before. Oh, man. They healed up that Michaela. I'm going to see if I can sneak. Oh, dude. The scratch marks are the way over there. She... Never mind. She didn't fuck it. She's actually right here. Does she even know I'm here? Validated, baby. Validated. That's what you love to see. The good old validated hits. Hell yeah. All right. Well, this is taking me a minute. But again, it's fine. Because we have so much passive slowdown. That's kind of what this build's all about. You know what I mean? Fuck it. Even if shit takes kind of a long time. We got so much passive slowdown that it don't even matter, baby. We're fine. We're Gucci, dude. We are totally A-OK. -okay. This, this build is like, let's make sure the game lasts 30 million years no matter what. Which, again, kind of boring from the survivor side. Feel a little bit bad running it. But you know what? It's content, baby. It's content. Hi. There you go. Up you go. I really got to go defend some of these gens, though. Like, this one was being worked on a bit. I don't know if it still is. Doesn't sound like it. I'm actually going to kick it. Which I know the idea behind this is like passive slowdown and, you know, I'm supposed to not be kicking gens or whatever, but I mean, how do I resist this? Oh, right here. Did she quick and quiet into that locker? No. Oh, she was there and then she ran away. Oh, oh, I see. What the fuck? What is happening, dude? Hi, Michaela. Hello. Holy. There you go. Okay, so they did pop a gen, and now this one is uh, this one is currently being blocked, which is uh, A-OK -okay with me. I guess I'm just going to chase this Michaela, because I don't really have any other chases. Although, if I see anybody else... If I see anybody else, I'm breaking off this chase to chase them. I don't really want this Michaela, because she has a bear trap on, so if anybody I want... If anything, I want anybody but her. Oh, I fucked that up. Wait, it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Woo! Never mind. All calculated, baby. I didn't find that was all calculated. Literally knew she was gonna do that. I'm in her head. I'm just so smart. Me getting stuck was all an intimidation, an intimidation technique. Clearly. Okay, I need to break out these walls. I also need to figure out what gen it is that they're doing, so I can sneak up on it and fuck them up. I don't know which one, but we'll we'll see. The problem with this is that we have no... Okay, that's the gen that was worked on before. That makes sense. They just blew, like, two skill checks there. There's a Meg. There's a Kate. <laughs> All right. We're seeing a lot of people. Good. Good, good, good. This really strong pallet's still here. Ugh! I had to try. I had to try. I thought maybe if I made that Ugh! sound, I thought maybe it would give me a higher chance at connecting, but nah, it turns out it doesn't work that way. Unluck. Mm, we'll leave her alone. We'll go after this Kate. Oh, here we go. Holding W Simulator. Holding W Simulator. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. This is the gameplay you love to see, baby. Running down hallways. Hell yeah. Midwitch. We'll catch up. We'll catch up eventually. We'll eventually get there. I believe. Someday we will get there. There we go. She has a med kit, so I don't I really don't want to leave her alone. I'm not really gonna get much sloppy value out of her at all because of the med kit. Okay. Okay, dude. All right. This guy's a gamer. This guy's a whole W and throw every pallet gamer. That's... All right. All right. Hey, I mean, if there's ever a build that we wanted to have while dealing with a survivor like this, I guess this would be the one, right? Look, this guy's a med kit too. Why does this guy have so many med kits? I'm switching off to chase this guy. I don't think this is a bad move at all. 
This pallet kind of sucks. What the? F where, where are you going? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Megan, what are you doing? I thought she was going to play that pallet, but she, she didn't even have any interest. She was just vibing, dude. She was vibing and doing her own thing. All right, here we go. This is only our fourth hook, but again, like every hook that we're getting, like every unique hook anyway, is th th this is another no way out stack. This is also more bear traps that we're putting on, which is which is more slow down. Like, dude, it's just going to take them so long to get anything done. So, so long. Also, the fact that they were like... The fact that they didn't get a good head start in the early game is going to be fucking them over a lot, too. Like, I had Corrupt Intervention, and it seemed like they were kind of, like, trying to sneak out and stealth Corrupt Intervention a bit rather than just slamming gens. And I think that's coming back to bite them, too, because this is definitely, like, a mid-game make-you-miserable build. And it felt like the, the entire early game, they just kind of wasted stealthing out Corrupt Intervention, which is not ideal for them. Damn, I was hoping I could sneak up on this gen, but no one's doing it. Hi. Oh, there's the whole WK again. Okay, this Meg thinks she's sneaky, but you're not. <laughs> you're not. That's not sneaky at all. I guess that's why they weren't doing gens, because there was literally three of them here. So that 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 explains it. Hi. Um Is she just gonna run through? Um Yui? Buddy? Friend? You okay? You wanna talk about it? You wanna talk about it, Yui? Would you like to discuss it? Oh, we got basement here too. Poggers. Is this my fourth stack? No, I think the Kate is, right? I think the Kate's my fourth stack. Because that fucking Kate, I chased her one time. Yeah, the Kate's my fourth stack. I chased her one time and she just pre threw like the strongest pile in the game and just held W. Which, don't get me wrong, is a smart thing to do, but goddamn. What a, what a horribly boring chase. We'll see if we can sneak on some people. Although, we took a while to crouch here. They might actually. No. They're still working on it. Hi. She's on death hook. So, oh, that guy just killed himself on a hook too. Oh, that's not good. Ew, that's not good at all. Someone's there too. I see the scratch marks. So someone was actually making their way to get that save. Did you just get stuck? Did you get stuck on the hook? I'm not wasting my bear trap on her because she's on death hook, so it'd be pointless. But at this point, I feel like this game's over anyway. I'm about to kill her. There's gonna be two dead, two alive. Three gens left. There's no way in fuck they get out of this one. We, we're not even going to make it to No Way Out. See, here's the thing is like, we, we won this by so much that like, when, when I eventually hook this Kate, we're going to get four stacks of No Way Out, which is going to make us win it even more, right? Like we had, we had an even bigger safety net that we didn't even get to. Like we didn't even get to the final safety net. That's how crazy that is, dude. Honestly, I think, I think like the, the combination of like No Way Out deadlock, just those two perks, maybe Corrupt Intervention as well. Like you can say the Corrupt Intervention kind of carried me through the early game here. Uh, you can say that just those perks are quite bonkers. Quite insanely good, I would say. She's probably going to throw this because she throws every single pilot. Yeah, she's 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 a pilot thrower, dude. You can tell. You can tell by the way she plays. She 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 going to throw every pilot. She's terrified. She's she's goddamn horrified of everything. But all right, I, I don't think she's going to have very many pilots left to throw, to be honest with you. Like, I, I know. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, she's all out. She's all out. We'll throw a bear trap on her too, just for just for good measure. Come here, friend. Come here, friend. Also, the the Meg now has a bear trap on, which means she has to be going to boxes. If she's not going to boxes and she does a gen, then we'll actually see the gen that she's doing, thanks to uh, the one thing that we're running. I though I forget what it's called. It seemed like she was. What box was she going for? Nope, she got the. Oh no, that was deliverance. Never mind. I thought I thought she got that, but I actually that might have not been deliverance. That definitely could have been second win, but I feel like it was most likely deliverance. I think Meg is still trying to get her bear trap off. Uh, but yeah, again, if she does a gen with it on, we can see where she is because of the one add-on. Hi, the one add-on whose name I forgot. Jigsaw sketch? Jigsaw sketch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jigsaw sketch. That now does that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. Don't worry. I remembered. Well, no DS for you. That's unlucky. Where is the Meg? I mean, I guess technically the Meg doesn't have to take her bear trap off. She might just be sitting around waiting for Hatch. Which, truthfully, might... Wait, they moved this. Or did they move it? No, they didn't move it. I'm done. I'm upstairs. I thought I... For some reason, I thought I was downstairs. Um... To, to be fair, I, I think the correct move for the Meg here is actually to not... Oh, she wait, she wait. She got it off just now. She just got her bear trap off. But where? The correct play may have been to just uh, 
literally just stealth it out and let your teammate die and then try to get hatched. Because realistically, like, there's no fucking way you're both making out of this, right? There is, like, a 0% chance. Unless I literally, like... Like, I would have to be the most boosted motherfucker to ever live on, on planet Earth if I somehow let both of these guys do three gens and then also escape... I mean, they, they obviously don't know about No Way Out, but still, even even without No Way Out, even if it was just three gens with two people, like, I'd have to, like, practically go AFK, you know? Like, there is no real way that's happening at all. Hi, Meg. Okay, we'll kill her. Um, I'm not going to greed for the 4K. I don't really care that much. If I really wanted to be a dick, I could probably slug this guy. And then like ensure the 4k but i'll give him a chance for hatch it's kind of weird the uh the change they made a while back and by a while back i mean last patch they, they made a change where hatch will only spawn when there's one survivor left like it used to be like a formula where hatch would spawn closed even with multiple survivors oh she's right here nice i thought she'd vault fuck fuck i guess wrong not like this Anyway, um, there used to be a formula where it would spawn closed and you can kind of keep track of it. And everyone like got stoked because it was a nerf to keys, right? Which don't get me wrong, I'm stoked too. Like nerfing keys is a good thing. Keys keys were bullshit. Um But also, it kind of nerfs killers in a weird way too. It nerfs it nerfs your ability to guarantee the 4K, right? If you're somebody that doesn't like survivors getting hatched and you like to secure your 4Ks, it's now kinda harder. Cause before, like in this scenario, I guess it wouldn't have worked because there were still three gens left, but before you'd get in scenarios where you can basically find the hatch before you kill the, the next to last survivor. That way, while they're dying on hook, you could run to it, stand over it, kick it, and ensure that nobody gets it. But now you kind of can't. You either have to just full out slug for the 4K or you have to just kill the third, the, the third person and then just pray. Just pray that you find it before the fourth, which is kind of... I don't know. I don't know if I like I kind of dislike that part. I think it's worth it Like I think I'll take that trade over the fact of like keys being nerfed because again fuck keys So like I think it's a good trade, but it is kind of like a, a, a kind of bad side effect for killer players I think at least I think uh, But anyway that went well GG's 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 we'll do a second game same killer same build same everything. We'll see how it goes Maybe we'll get a non indoor map and maybe it'll go a little bit differently. I don't know uh because again, indoor maps are kind of hard for survivors too. Like sometimes it's hard to find gens. That might have been a that might have been a big reason why they didn't really get much done early game. Sometimes it's hard to just find gens on maps like Midwitch. So maybe we'll get like an outdoor map and we'll have a little bit of a different paced game. But hey, let's try and see. GG's. And we get the exact same fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> After I got done talking about the whole, oh, well, maybe next time we'll get a map that isn't indoors, and maybe we'll see how it plays with other maps. And then immediately we just get, dude, how's this happen? Didn't this happen to me like in another video? Like it might have been like the last, I mean, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. It'll probably be, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess it'll probably be a few videos before this one. But I definitely remember recording a video at some point recently and the same thing happened with like Gas Heaven or something. So what the, what, what, what is going on here? What, 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 what is with the repeat maps, dude? I want to say what I said in that video. They need to add a feature where you don't get the same map twice in a row. And that's just it. Like, there's five people in a game and there's like 50. There's not 50. There's realistically like 30 maps. It wouldn't be that hard to make it so that all five people don't get the same map, right? That, 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 that disables five maps total out of like 30. That still leaves 25 maps available in the map pool. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you can do that. You can do that if you really want. Like, come on, man. Like, I, this shit, like, you know, imagine if I get it a third time. How boring would that be? That'd suck. That'd suck hard. I gotta make sure she doesn't get this window. It's okay if I let her throw it. I just gotta try to make sure she doesn't get this window. She might still get the window. She's gonna get that window. Yeah. I should have maybe zoned her and kicked it. You know what? I don't think there was any way I avoided her getting that window, actually, now that I think about it. I, I was thinking I could have zoned her and then kicked that pallet, but even that I don't think would work. So, you know what? I think no matter what, she gets it, actually. And we're back to holding W, baby. Back to holding W, baby. <laughs> Validated. She doesn't get anywhere here, though. Or does she? Or does she get anywhere? Oh, my God. I was... I didn't even see her to the side there. I was just trying to, like, kind of start a mind game. Hey, we got the down, though. Don't matter. Let's go. No no gens done yet either, which is good. I mean, like, getting... I think one... If you can even get the pressure going before a gen even pops, that's really, really good. Honestly. So... Good start. Good start so far. None too shabby. Ooh, hello. Oh, she stayed up top. And by she, I mean this big studly Jake. That's who I meant. 
That's what I meant. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious right now, Jake? Are you fucking kidding me, sir? Sir, are, are you actually joking? Have a hat, sir. Here you go. Have a hat, my friend. On the house, my friend. Don't worry about it. Wait, he's playing. He's playing. Oh, wait, never mind. His, his, his name is Jeffrey. For some reason, I thought he was playing Jeff, but that's Jake, not Jeff. I'm stupid. Ignore me. I got I almost got excited. I was like, oh, he's playing the character that matches his name. But then I realized that he literally could be doing that. But he's instead he's playing the other Jake named guy. So that's or the other J named guy. Oh, there was a singular scratch mark here. I think one singular scratch mark. No, maybe there wasn't. I thought I saw a scratch mark like on this corner, but maybe I didn't. There might be in that locker or something. No, there's no way. Who would do that? That'd be weird. If you want to struggle anyway, it's fine. This dude got unhooked. I don't know where the hell they went. Uh, where is everybody, man? Where is everybody? I feel like I'm on an episode of the Twilight Zone. Like I showed up to a town and it's deserted and everyone's gone and I don't know where the fuck to fight. Like, what is this? Like, what the fuck's going on? I'm just going to crouch. Maybe they're all running away from the terror radius. Okay, well, this is where we're going to hold W for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep. Here it goes. Yep, 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 yep. This is what I deserve, though. Honestly, I think this is karma for me playing a build that basically revolves around the survivors taking forever to do things. It's like, yeah, well, we'll make you take forever to do things. Have fun holding W after the survivors for 30 hours. Oh, she just held W. Interesting. I thought she would vault that pallet, but she didn't. I was planning on, like, moonwalking back there mid-dash, but, um, Claudette? Okay, that gen popped, and that gen over there is blocked, which, we, which, which means we know that one's the second most worked on. Although, that one might have... Is that the one we chased him off of earlier? It might be. That might be the one that we chased him off of earlier, so we might have already known that. I'm not sure how much it matters in this context, but if there was someone on that gen, they not anymore. They sure as fuck aren't anymore. I think we got a base with this guy. Am I even going to make this? I thought this was the closest hook, but maybe it's not. Oh, I barely made that. Oh my God, she was so close to fucking wiggling out. My God, that was risky. I think there was a closer hook and that, that was super risky. That was like mega risky. That was not the gen that we chased him off of earlier, by the way. This, this one's like inside. Yo! This guy's on death hook, so I think I'll just kill him. See, this is where Pop Goes the Weasel would be really good. This is why I was saying before the first game that Deadlock would be really good with pop. Like, the fact that it tells you where the next gen is that's worked on, such good pop synergy, dude. Such good pop synergy. She's on death hook, so unlucky. Never rubber ducky. She's out of here. Um, But yeah, dude, the pop synergy with this perk is insane. Like, you can easily replace some of the perks I have in this build um, with, like, pop oppression or something. Or even just pop, honestly. You don't even need oppression, but, like, pop oppression is really good, too. Um, there's so many things you can replace it with if you want to. Uh, I, I think deadlock is just a, a super neat perk. I think it has so much chances for synergy. Uh, what are these scratch marks? These are some really faded scratch marks. Oh, oh, there's blood. Oh, there's a Claudette. Oh, I'm a tunneling piece of shit. Oh, I'm a dirty tunneler. Wow, how'd this happen? Wow. What, what, what have I become? A dirty, filthy tunneler. Back on hook you go, buddy. Oh, there's scratch marks here, too. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Is that a blood trail as well? Ooh. Did they vault in? Ooh. You don't say. Are you, are you still here? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of blood. Hey, man. You stealthing? You being a stealthy boy? Have a hat. There you go. Have a hat. I still haven't seen this tap. Wherever this tab is, I, he, I I think he's really stealthing because I haven't even fucking seen him yet. I don't know where the hell he's been hanging out. Yeah. We'll hook this Jake again. Um, and they're, they're that's both their second hooks. Tap, where the fuck are you? Oh, hey. What up, homie? I was just talking about you. Where you been, dog? Oh, he's not even going for the unhook. Oh, not like this. Oh, not like this. Oh, that was actually such a good prediction. Did he see me coming? He might have yeah. third person cameraed me. Did he revolt it? Or does he have dance with me? No, he did revolt it. Okay. How are you going to play it now, though? Oh, I got stuck. Well, you can't actually moon dash there. You get stuck on this corner. 
Alright, we got him eventually. I knew it was a matter of time. There's no way in fuck you can stay here and be safe. I thought he would, like, he, what he should have did is he, is he should have taken, took advantage of me whipping that one time and, like, ran away and got to, like, a safer spot. But instead, he just stayed. He, like, really wanted to just stay at that pallet for some reason. Man, okay, well, there, there were two games. I don't even really feel like I got a chance to show off No Way Out. <laughs> Which is a shame, because No Way Out is probably my favorite perk in this whole build. Um, so maybe, maybe this is a good excuse to, for me to make more videos on No Way Out. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a sign that I can make more videos until I eventually get No Way Out value. Maybe I'll just make it a series. Using No Way Out until I get value out of No Way Out. Episode 1, Episode 2, until eventually... I get a game where I get some hardcore gamers that slam fucking gens and we get to the end game and I can showcase it. Because both these games are kind of a bummer. We kind of just slaughtered them. I think my pig MMR might not be as high as it should be or something. I don't know. Because these matches weren't weren't, weren't too bad. Uh, but hey, I mean, regardless, the, builds, the build seems to be working wonders. They barely got time to do anything. Uh, the gens that they were doing just got blocked and they got forced off of them. So I think the fact that we 4 k to like three gens in both games, I think goes to show that... I think without this build, they definitely would have gotten some more gens done. So I think it definitely does have some value. I just wish I could have showcased it a little better. But hey, GG's. What are you going to do, GG's? All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Um, like usual tofu fashion, we, we did the thing where we were like, yo, let's show off this perk. This perk's really good, and I want to showcase it. And then we ended up not really being able to showcase it at all because, the, the you know, like the stars didn't really align in the way that we wanted them to. But you know what? That's kind of how this, this channel is. You know, we try things, and we don't, you know fucking edit together footage to, to make it look like it works every time if it doesn't work it doesn't work if we didn't get value we didn't get value that's just how it is i'd rather give you the real product than anything else so hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did like this video remember to leave it a like it helps me a lot with the algorithm subscribe to the channel as well if you want to or don't doesn't matter to me uh also stop by my live stream i'm live on twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash otofu you guys can stop by and say hi that's where i am most of the time so if you ever want to stop by and hang out while i'm gaming i love talking to chat i love hanging out with people so feel free to stop by and say hello and thank you guys so much for hanging out hope you guys have an awesome Master Knights, I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya.